Hello, and thank you for stopping by my presentation. My name is Amber Lecky. I'm a clinical psychology postdoctoral fellow at the Center for Development and Disability at the University of New Mexico in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I am a 35-year-old Caucasian female identified, female presenting individual. I have blue eyes and very uh, light colored hair, which has a pink tint to it. It is curled. I'm wearing a gray blazer, and you can see my Karma Circle necklace as well. Um, I will be presenting today on a scoping review of the cross-cultural use of autism screening measures. And the purpose of this um, research today that I'm presenting at the AIRP Research Day at Autism Cares 2022 is to identify research gaps in the existing literature. This uh, this scoping study takes the process of dissemination one step further by drawing conclusions from existing literature regarding the overall state of research activity. And it's specifically designed to identify gaps in the evidence base where no research has been conducted, and then to summarize and disseminate our research findings, as well as identifying the relevance of a full systematic review in more specific areas of inquiry in this topic. Um, so for the purpose of my research, I conducted a scoping review um, looking at the use of two different autism screening measures, which are very widely used uh, in the uh, diagnostic field. The first is the Childhood Autism Rating Scale, second edition, and the other is the Social Responsiveness Scale. The CDD actually recommends the use of the Childhood Autism Rating Scale as one of the most reliable diagnostic tools for, for autism. What we don't know is, has that been um, validated in populations outside of the U.S. and especially um, diverse populations even within the U.S.? I'm going to move on to um, a figure one, which is a, the process of a scoping review for those who aren't familiar. There are five boxes total, three up top and two below, and they have arrows in between them um, telling you which direction to read them in. I'll read them out loud now in that order. The first step is identifying a research question. And for a scoping review, that can be a broad question. Um, then you identify the relevant studies. Then you select your studies in the third box through the use of inclusionary and exclusionary criteria. Fourth step and fourth box is charting the data. And fifth is collecting, summarizing, and disseminating the research. And so what I found in my research is that when I look across many da databases uh, using terms such as childhood autism rating scale and cultural validity or social responsiveness scale and cross-cultural use is that we find very little has been written. Um, you know, out of 23 hits, there were seven uh, articles that were usable. Out of 26 hits in a different search, only three were usable. A total of 11 peer-reviewed articles were what I was able to find on the use of um, autism rating uh, scales in other populations and other backgrounds. And so um, there's not a lot going on here in the U.S. What I found is that there are many countries who have translated the CARS to and the SRS and have found that these measures over or underestimate um, the number of children that meet criteria for autism. So there is a table underneath my results section, table one, in which it identifies some of the different countries cutoff scores for both the CARS or the SRS based on the literature that I researched. Um, you'll see that the US has a, a SRS cutoff of 70 for males and 65 for females. Whereas Korea has a cutoff that of 55 that they found to be more appropriate for their population. Finland has a cutoff of 46. Iran has a cutoff of 48 for parent report and 53 for teacher report. Taiwan has a SRS cutoff of 65 and Germany has an SRS cutoff of 56. For the CARS 2 cutoff scores, the US has a cutoff of 30 for males and 28 for females. Korea has a cutoff score of 28.5. And Sweden has a cutoff score of 30. So not each country um, is using both of these measures or has translated them. So I did not have 
um, cutoff scores for each country that I looked at. But what I saw is that there is a wide um, range of scores that other cultures have found to be more appropriate to capture autism in their population. Um, and so what this tells us is that there is a very, very big need for the cross-cultural validation of tools such as the SRS and the CARS-2. So our next step is, is doing that um, research and taking in cultural considerations um, when using a U.S.-based measure in diverse backgrounds. Thank you.